How much resistance um, did you get in Bristol? Well, the usual resistance. A lot of the, the, the Blas companies um, couldn't sort of divide in some city, you might well. The Blacks, obviously, they were not going to let leave the company. And um, there was um, resistance in, in the unions. I took the unions to the High Court, and sued them in the High Court, got damages and an apology. So, yes, there was. Um, but uh, there was resistance, but on the whole, London, who, uh, who owned the company in Bristol, were definitely opposed to, to uh, uh, supporting a colour, they uh, called it a colour bar in those days. And I think the director um, of the bus company was told in no uncertain terms he couldn't um, support, support that kind of policy. And so I started the boycott in April of 63 and it ended in August 60. The very day that Luther King was marched on Washington was the day when the director of the bus company said we welcome all got black crews. So they were pretty much alienated, um, the bus company, in terms of public opinion? I think so.